Hi guys, welcome back to Think View. My name is Williams. So I have here today is the Tab S9 Ultras, and I have been using it for quite a long time now. And my first thought when I start using it was, why is this so big? It's not like any other tablet. But the more I use it, the more I feel that it's one of the things worth experiencing. To give an overall impressions of the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultras, I think it's a different kind of device. It shouldn't be used like the most people use tablet, watching movies, playing mobile games, or simply reading the news. Using it that way would be a waste. Instead, it should aim for high demands, creating a great experience for working as well. So if someone say it's too big for anything, don't forget that Samsung also have the Galaxy Tab S9 with an 11 inch size for those who prefer something more compact. So today I will share my experience working with it, showing how various tasks are carried out on the Tab S9 Ultras, what I like and what I don't like about it. Additionally, I will discuss the hardware upgrade in this year S9 series, impact the real world experience. Okay, so for the most part, I will be spending my time working on the web and a few texting app. I use Samsung internet as my default browser because it's Samsung device. And I would like to stick with what native because there's a lot of little unnamed convenience. For instance, if someone sent me a link through the Telegram apps, I can open it. It will open a Telegram window. Then I can select open with Samsung internet and I can continue working on the web. And if I were using Google Chrome, then I have to copy the link, switch to Chrome, and then I can continue working. This is just a small example to show that if something was made in the house, then you should use it. About the Samsung internet, I find that everything in the interface is optimized well for the S9 Ultras. So there's no reason to switch to another browser. And if you work a lot with Google Drive, and you will notice that it's even more optimized than Safari. On Safari, you can zoom in and out on the Google Drive. And the Google Sheets, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Why Samsung internet functions just like on a computer. It doesn't like any features. So if your main work involves using the web-based platforms, the Tab S9 Ultra can easily meet those needs. I can open 10 tabs without any issues, and even with more tabs, they only reload when you click on them, without any lag. One small note that when using Samsung internet, it activates background sound. So if you play music on the YouTube and switch to another web page to work, the music won't stop. Some people have complained about this, but there's actually a setting to enable or disable it. As for texting apps, I use Telegram, Zello, and Skype. Skype is a Microsoft app, and generally, Microsoft and Google software are well optimized for Samsung device. So when you scale this app up or down, the interface adapts accordingly. However, Telegram and Zello are not fully optimized. To get Telegram to change the interface, you need to zoom it out completely on the entire screen. In Zalo, a popular chat app in Vietnam, it just brings the mobile interface to the tablet. To customize the window size, you can drag the edges of the window just like on Windows, and then fine tune it to the size that you want it. You can stretch the window however you like, selecting the most comfortable size because the Samsung DeX doesn't limit the window size like the iPad OS. And I'm currently using the Notion apps, and it works really well on the Samsung Tab S9 Ultra. Many people use Notion for organizing work and planning, and overall interface and interaction on this device are well balanced. As for the Microsoft 365 apps like the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, they can be used on the tablet. I haven't encountered any issues while working with them. Everything is synced well with Windows laptops and Samsung phone. However, these apps are simplified versions, so for those with higher demands, I recommend trying them out first to see if they meet your needs. About the note taking, there's some exciting news. Earlier this year, GoodNotes has released a version that supports the Android tablet. From the first time I picked up the stylus, it felt like I had been writing on the tablet for a long time. Compared to writing on an iPad, I found writing on GoodNotes with Galaxy Tab much more enjoyable. I could write small, neat, character more easily because the S Pen tip is small and soft, making writing is easier. The Apple Pencils, on the other hand, has a larger and firmer tip, making it a bit harder to achieve neat handwriting. Furthermore, when you extend the screen to a separate monitor, with the upper screen in the Samsung Dex mode, you can watch lecture videos while working. While on the lower screen remain in tablet modes for taking notes with good notes, it's very convenient. However, there's maybe a slight reduction in pen responsiveness 
when extending the screen, but it's not significant. Additionally, the Android version of the Good Notes still have the basic features. It still remains 70% similar to the iOS version. But for basic note taking, it still serves the purpose well. If you have a simple note taking or drawing needs without the need for image or icon like in Good Notes, you can use Samsung Note. In terms of the standalone note taking experience, Samsung Note doesn't have any shortcomings. In fact, it has more pen options for achieving precise and beautiful handwriting. Speaking of the S Pen, this year it comes with the IP68 water resistant, both the tablet and the pen. So if you need to work or draw outdoors and or worry about rains, you don't have to be concerned about damaging your device. For specialized tasks like video editing, technical works or drawings, Android tablet now have the supporting application available. For video editing, there's LumaFusion, which was officially released on the Play Store earlier this year. This kind of app works even better when you extend the screen to an external monitor because they require more screen space. For digital artists, there's Sleep Studio Paint. And for technical work similar to AutoCAD, there's ArcSight. Why I haven't personally experienced this app yet, I heard that they are efficient and responsive, particularly for basic tasks. So if you have specialized needs in video editing, technical works, or digital art, Android tablets like the Tab S9 Ultras are now equipped with the necessary apps to support these tasks effectively. Okay, let's talk about the hardware. I think in general, all the app has been well optimized for the large screen, uh, for basic multitasking to the specialized requirement. As for the hardware upgrades, the Samsung Tab S9 Ultra has some significant improvement. The most notable one is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, combined with the One UI 5.1 which make the device run smoother. There's almost no lag during use, and the tablet doesn't heat up or become warm. All three model has also been upgraded to 120Hz refresh rate display with a dynamic AMOLED 2x panel. The advantage of this panel is that it performs exceptionally well outdoor, with clear detail, high brightness, and excellent contrast, making the viewing experience more comfortable. Finally, all three models are equipped with the IP68, water and dust resistant adding durability and making them suitable for various environment conditions. Finally, after experience the hardware and the software of the Tab S9 Ultras, I can see that it has a significant upgrade compared to the last year version. However, I believe the first thought when people look at this device is that who truly needs the Tab S9 Ultras? And who truly needs the tablet with big screen like this? Well, in my opinion, it can for those who want to experience writing and drawing on a large screen, while also needing it for work. Or simply put, it's a pioneer device that aims to drive software development for large screen tablet. As you can see, in just one year, many useful apps has been adapted for this device. The next chapter will be how far this app can be optimized and how many more apps will be brought to the platform. Okay, so that's some of my thoughts after using the Tab S9 Ultras. What do you guys think? Please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is William and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.